Hello there, and Happy New Year to you. For those who are new here, my name is Maria. However, this story is not about me. It is all about the life who is too adorable giant schnauzer Sydney and Arnie. It's hard to believe we first met our puppy in October, and here we are in January. Time flies. In this episode, I will share our latest updates, moments of fun and craziness, our daily routine, and glimpse into how we welcomed the new year. This breed takes a good amount of time every day. They are exceptionally intelligent and trainable, but you really need to commit and invest time in daily training. So it's Wednesday and I'm packing chicken as snacks for today's class. We started our regular training twice per week, with Sydney only, somewhere in November. And this training was a life changer for me. During December and I plan for January, we will change it to three times per week since I have more flexible schedule this month. And I could say that I'm super grateful for our incredible trainer Eva. In the beginning, Sydney was super scared of people, making it impossible to walk with him. He pulled on the leash all the time and barked at everyone and everything. Training with Sydney alone helped tremendously. And now we do training with both of them to work on walking with two of them under control without a mess. I would admit, it's not an easy and time-consuming and also pricey, but this is the best investment in the future life with two dogs. One of our favorite places for outdoor walks is the beach. During winter there are no people at all and our dogs can run freely there. We just love it so much. For outdoor walks and recalls we have some updates. With Arnie it worked perfectly well even before, but with Sydney recalls work 100% only if we have some snacks with us and he knows that we have them. We unleash them both only if there are no people within the reach. Arnie loves running into waves, but Sydney still learning what is in salty water with powerful waves. I did not record it, but mornings are an early start for us. 
Usually around 5.30 or 6 a.m. when dogs prompt us to let them go out to the yard. By 7 we are downstairs enjoying breakfast and also feeding them. I tackle a few tasks in my home office or in the living room while dogs are resting after the meal. At 9 it's time for us to walk separately with each dog. And some playtime follows. Midday is when the dogs hit their peak activity level, a few hours after the lunch. They love playing and running in the backyard, especially when there is not so much dirt outside. Evenings are quite different, except for feeding time. During winter we often opt for cozy nights at home with good movie or a book all together.
I hope you liked this episode and found something valuable for yourself as well. I'm truly grateful for all your comments and your support. Having two dogs of this breed, for me, it's not an easy deal at all. It requires time, money, patience and long-term commitment. Yet, since the day we met, it's hard to imagine my life and my days without these two. Thank you for watching and see you in the next episode. Bye bye! Thank you.